Hey boys and girls, welcome to Monroe Live. We're here at uh, EVject. Now, this is a kind of a really wonderful little product and I really like it because what it does is basically breaks in half. So let's say you're uh, at a charging station and you're a woman who doesn't need a new boyfriend and you get somebody harassing you and you're plugged in. Well, guess what? If you want, with this little device, you can get away. And that's what we're gonna talk about with Eric and Craig here, Eric and Craig. And uh, they're going to give us the whole lowdown on this new, absolutely stunning product. So let's start by going over how it works, just to show you how simple but clever the idea is. When you have the charging wand, all you do is you plug it in, you have your charging port, put it in. The moment that you click this, we actually connect the communication ports. Once that happens, the locking pin comes in and it holds that in place. So now you're inside your cabin, hanging out, doing your thing, you know, watching Netflix and whatnot. Something happens, be it, be it a fire, a bad guy, a moose, a bear, who knows? All you have to do is click unlock charge port in your car that actually releases the communication pins. So at this stage, the EV does not know that you are actually plugged in. To it, you might as well have already plugged it out, right? But because you can do, you're now disconnected, you can shift into drive and then drive away. Once you do, this is meant to break right here at the seam, essentially giving you this, where this part ends up staying in your charge port, this part ends up staying on the charging head, so when it hits the ground, nothing bad happens to the supercharger. And when you drive away and find somewhere safe to stop, just click and lock charge port and you can pull it out with your fingers, no tools needed, right? Now it is a one-time use, but what we're doing is because we want to make sure that you guys are thinking about yourselves and not worrying about how much you may have paid for this and whatnot and you don't want to break it, we will replace this for a new one if you send us the footage from the center cam or the components that are left over from it. So that is the basic use of it. Wow. So at the end of the day, um, from my standpoint, uh, this, is, uh, this is something that I would get for my wife. Uh, I, I don't say I'm always worried, but uh, anybody who's responsible and, uh, and has a loved one, this to me, I'm gonna take this one, but this to me is just, it, this to me would be a necessity. I definitely would wanna have one of these things for my wife on um, either the, because we, we usually uh, charge at, we have a Rivian and we have a Model 3 and um, now we're charging it both at the same yeah. stations and whatnot. Having a, excuse me, a breakaway system like this just seems to me to be, uh, you know, something I'd, I'd like to have for a little extra security. Yeah, well, fortunately we're, so right now we're starting with Tesla adapters, just because we know those guys are the early adopters. They know they welcome new technology, but we are working on a couple of other solutions for every non-Tesla. We want to have this technology not just for Tesla, but everywhere else. This should be something that every EV and frankly even built built within the within the charge port, right? Yeah. So to give an example, here we have just a quick demo prototype. Before the NAX ended up taking over the way it's been doing it we were actually working on a prototype so you can have the same functionality for your F-150, right? Or any other non-EV. Plug in the charger, put it on your port, and we would have the option to let this break off and then just drive away. Right. Now, similarly, we now have the Magic Dock coming up. Well, we believe that this should also be included within. And yeah. so we are working on getting this. Uh, yeah, getting this to have the, the breakaway functionality right for the magic dog okay good yeah again we believe this is something that should be done everywhere not just tesla so this one is 3d printed yeah this uh, one is these, as well are, you're, so you're using 3d printing well, for, for the, now for production yeah because we're we're moving fast with the reiterations we make them test them break them hmm. find the new things to fix up and yeah. then we start moving forward so for that we're doing the 3d prints but when you purchase this you will get a fully manufactured injection molded part uh, and in fact, oh, wow. so these are adapters we're providing to Hertz now that it has the custom Hertz branding on it. They also want the EV ejects. 
that are Hertz branded that are included with every rental vehicle. Oh, what a good idea. But when we're done with the full injection molding, we have that quality plastic. Yep. This is uh, this is really quite good. And I, hundred dollar fee if lost. Huh. Wow. You know what I love is if you compare, you know, looking at the little details that you look at. If you look at the parting lines on this guy, right, and the the insertion molds of the cavities, this is actually a pretty a much cleaner way that most of the other generic adapters you see. If you pay attention to other J1772s, you'll see where the cores were made. Yeah. It's essentially a five piece mold. Right, mm -hmm. we can get it quite a bit more simplified than that. So, like, you yeah. can see the core right there, yeah. right? Well, I used to do this. I used to be a tool maker, so I, I kind of like, I know, uh, I know a good, a good shot when I see one, and I know what molds are supposed to do, and it's supposed to look like, and the graining on this is really quite good. Yeah. This is a very well done. Oh, you could have used a ring ejector, but at, but at the end of the day, no one's going to see that anyway. Yeah. Only certain Perfect. people have an eye for that, right? Yeah, like yeah. they don't know the struggles of uh, sink marks. Yeah, well, sink marks are that's what I'm looking for, and I can't find any. So, uh, so I'm I'm very impressed. This is this is quite a good uh, this is quite a good mold. Well, yeah. when you guys end up getting the your pre-orders, yeah, you will be getting a fully injection molded part. These are 3D printed just because we need the the reiteration. Yeah. yeah. That we that is necessary in engineering. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, for low volume, this is not a bad way to get the product into the market. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people who are in the aircraft industry and whatnot are moving away from injection molding or high-speed machining or what have you, and they're, they're making them uh, with 3D printing. Yeah, it's quick. I mean, so this is PET with carbon fiber um, yeah. reinforcement, and it's been doing great. I mean, I don't need to worry about finding somebody to inject right. a mold at PPS to make a PPS mold. Yeah. Just print this guy out. It has a similar right. temperature range, and then we can test those high temperature pins because yeah. the, the supercharging temperatures that we're seeing have been quite a bit of a challenge. In fact, what we're doing, the, the normal aspect of this is we're just using a simple press fit. We yeah. essentially are getting as close as we can to a solid piece of copper, right? Yeah. And so now, any other resistance that you find from the diameter reduction based on crimps, yeah. we don't have any of that, which also mm. helps us uh, reduce the contact resistance, right? And reduce the heat that is created by this. Yeah. So our goal is since we, uh, we know that Tesla is releasing the 350 kilowatt chargers pretty soon. I think yeah. I saw an article yesterday where uh, they, have it out, they have it out in Europe. We'll see how the tests go over there. Well, we want to be able to claim and assert that we can actually charge at 350 kilowatts without having to worry about the temperature um, affecting the, the device. That's a real challenge. Yeah, wicking away heat is uh, everybody's challenge, actually. Yeah. And we have a couple of tricks up our sleeves that I think uh, we'll let you know when we, when we uh, release it. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, excellent. We like to be a little tricky. Well, tricky is good, uh, yeah. as long as it, you know, it's good for the customers. Yeah. So anyways, I'm very, very impressed. When can we expect to see these uh, at this kind of level so uh, hitting the market? Current plans are for fall. This fall? Right? This fall. Cross your fingers, because uh, we're starting to figure out this fun game of the supply chain. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, supply chain, supply chain management um, actually is one of the things that we do at Monroe. And uh, yeah, you, uh, you, can, you can get your... Uh, <laughs> You can get your uh, your body wrapped around uh, uh, the axles real easy with uh, with suppliers. So yeah. I well, wish you good luck on that. Well, wink, wink. We may be uh, contacting you for a couple of questions. <laughs> well, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 said so you wanted one for your wife. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to give you this one right now that you can take today with you. Yeah, that oh, wow. one has your name on it. It does. Wow. Yeah. Somewhere okay, in there. Okay, good. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Oh, we'll okay, let you know good. where. It's inside. Right. <laughs> it's inside. Okay, good. Well, I'm so not breaking it. To you'll find have out. to break it away to see your uh, name. I'm not going to see it. Okay, good. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Good. Yeah. I, uh, I really appreciate it. Wow. Well, I got a prize. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate your support. We appreciate the knowledge that you have imparted on us. Frankly, the videos and content that you guys have created. Just stopping and playing them and going slow-mo has actually taught us so many little details that you just cannot Google. You cannot wow. find online. So well, thank you for all of that. You've you. actually been a great mentor indirectly. So well, thanks thank so much you. for thank that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the present and uh, yeah. thanks for this video. Yeah, thanks and, for your time. And uh, all you guys out there, uh, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching Monroe Live. Again, back here from uh, the Tesla Takeover. Uh, keep watching. More to come.